For many vegetables, a frost can put an end to their life. For example, it's always a sad day when the courgette plants finally get killed, even if we have them coming out of our ears. But there's a surprising number of vegetables which can be overwintered to provide an abundance of food during the coldest months of the year and also experience a surge of growth in spring and cover the hungry gap. The hungry gap is a period in spring where there's little fresh produce available as the winter vegetables have all been harvested and the summer vegetables aren't yet mature. Even though there are so many hardy vegetables which withstand frost like broad beans, kale, spinach, Swiss chard, cabbage, leeks, parsnips, onions, lettuce, kohlrabi, carrots, rocket, peas, radish, beetroot and sprouts to name a couple, some vegetables are better than others at surviving prolonged periods of temperatures below freezing point. Take kale for example, this is a highly popular vegetable for any garden to have growing during the winter and it can survive below a bitterly minus 10 degrees celsius but that temperature will kill peas if they aren't protected. But did you know that if your pea plants were covered in a thick layer of snow and temperatures then dipped to minus 10 degrees celsius they should still have enough protection to survive. I'm using the Celsius temperature scale for this video and you can take a look at the video description for the Fahrenheit conversions. Some salad plants like lettuce and Swiss chard can survive cold temperatures but their leaves as you can see here can get burnt by frost and this greatly reduces the eating quality. In fact back in October we had unprecedented minus 6 degree frost and for some parts of Wales it was the coldest ever recorded October day for about a decade and unfortunately we weren't ready for this and our salads took a hit. So as we race into the international month of Brussels sprout eating, it is time to look at how to give the vegetables we still have left the best preparation for January and February. I never bother protecting our kale and our leeks because I know how hardy they are, but that won't stop me from just giving them a mulch during the winter to both protect the soil from the harsh winter elements, but also break down and provide a slow release of nutrients. I like to use hay and leaf shreddings as a mulch for this and I want to thank Steel for sponsoring the 86 CE leaf blower vacuum and shredder which has made creating leaf mould and mulch so much easier. I will typically mulch a minimum layer of 5cm and this process takes no time at all. I love winter mulching because it also helps prevent weeds growing in early spring. However, for some of the other vegetables in the garden, it's a really good idea to provide an extra layer of protection when the temperatures get really, really cold. And one of the really effective ways of doing this is to use something called horticulture fleece. So there are two fairly common thicknesses which you can get. You can get 30 gram fleece. So providing if there's no wind, if you use 30 gram fleece, it can provide protection down to about minus five degrees. You can also get 17 gram fleece, which is a lot lighter and it'll protect down to minus two perhaps minus three if there's no wind. Now to keep things really nice and simple if we're using a 17 gram fleece you fold it over you get 34 grams so you're going to get that minus five degree protection if there's no wind as you'd get for the 30 gram. So if you have a small garden I highly recommend that you get the 17 gram fleece because it gives you a lot more options. If it is going to get cold then I would definitely put the fleece over the top. The 17 gram fleece can actually be a permanent feature over plants because it lets enough light in for the plants to continue growing but it also increases the medium temperature below the fleece so the plants are actually going to really benefit from that. If you're using 30 gram fleece it's not really going to let enough light in and because it's a lot heavier it can actually press down on younger and weaker plants and it can push down seedlings. So if you want to use a 30 gram fleece just to protect plants from the cold for maybe two days or more then what I recommend is putting sticks around the plant so you can basically drape the horticulture fleece over the top so it's not going to press down and cause too much of an effect on the actual plants growing. And we can't forget that the lighter fleece is cheaper than the heavier versions although it's more prone to tearing. 
Now, if you don't want to invest in horticultural fleece, there's a different strategy which you can use, which involves temporarily smothering your plants with a lightweight organic mulch. So what this does is it will insulate your plants against really cold weather, but you just gotta make sure that you pick up the mulch afterwards, which can be a bit of a pain, but it doesn't allow any light to the plant. So you just need to make sure that you're willing to do that because in my opinion, I'd rather spend a few minutes picking up mulch than losing you know, all of my charge for example. But desperate times can certainly call for desperate measures. And if you have a few sacks of straw, shredded leaves or shredded paper, then this will be ideal to cover your plants completely and it is relatively simple to recollect. If you're growing Swiss chard, you can put a deep mulch around the plant and not cover the leaves as a way of protecting the centre, which in spring will hopefully send up a new surge of growth. This only makes sense for plants which are low growing, otherwise you'd need an impractical quantity of material to cover the plants. Individual plants can be protected by covering them upside down with some kind of container, for example a bucket, to serve as temporary protection. And larger plants like brassicas can be covered in old fabrics such as sheets and blankets. Even if you don't have enough space or funds for a polytunnel or greenhouse, you can consider getting cloches or a mini polytunnel for future winter protection. And this 10 by 4 foot polytunnel fits perfectly over this raised bed and will not only make the nights warmer, but also the days, as well as excellent protection against winter rainstorms. I really hope that this video helps your hardy vegetables to survive the coldest of temperatures this winter and if you have any further questions please do let me know and one final thing I want to mention is if you're subscribed please click that bell icon next to the subscribe button because that just means that you get notified for each new upload and that would mean a lot to me so thanks a lot for watching and see you again soon goodbye. Mm -hmm.